Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. My thoughts precisely. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet, in a totally different environment, and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Vanguard, right? Hey. So you want to come here for a half day? Full day? Welcome. Hi. Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. Most in the Collective aren't overly fond of MAST or the UC in general. I tend to share that sentiment. Lost a cousin in the Colony War, you know. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Coe himself. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. 
Handing over that branch is starting to look pretty good. I guess it couldn't hurt. Yeah, I hope so. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. City has what we need. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. An excellent question. I have been wondering myself. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side effects, but none would be life-threatening. We won't play the broadcast loud or long enough to cause any major or permanent damage to humans or other organic life. And aside from that, if we don't calm this tree down soon, well, I fear that the vibrations it's emitting will eventually reach such strength it could severely damage our internal organs. I have no doubt that you will. Hey. Have a nice day now. I'm all right.
already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it.